everybody, it's me, Matt Spurs, and I'm back again for another Tottenham Hotspur video. In today's video, I'm just going to update you with the latest Tottenham Hotspur news. So the first piece of good news is the fact that Tottenham are guaranteed to finish in at least 7th position. That's because Everton beat Sheffield United earlier 1-0. Richarlison scored for Everton. That means that 6th position will come down to the final day where Wolverhampton Wanderers will be away to Chelsea. Hopefully Chelsea will win. And if Spurs beat Crystal Palace and Wolves lose, Spurs will finish in 6th position and I believe that will be enough to guarantee a qualification place in the Europa League next year, starting in the group phase. And um, thinking about the season in a ho on the whole, I think that, that would be a fantastic finish to the season if Spurs were to grab sixth position and uh, guaranteed European football next season. piece of news is regarding Jafit Tanganga. His contract runs out next season, at the end of next season, and um, Tottenham and Jafit Tanganga still haven't come to uh, an agreement on a new contract. Currently, uh, Jaffa Tanganga earns £1,000 per week and Tottenham have offered £15,000 per week. Uh, Jaffa Tanganga wasn't very happy with that offer and has rejected it apparently, but talks are still ongoing and uh, they hope to come to a conclusion during the summer. Jaffa Tanganga uh, came through uh, this year from the youth team into the Tottenham Hotspur first team and made 13 appearances. Two uh, matches in particular he impressed in, uh, notably the Liverpool match at home and the Southampton match away. I also felt he did well in the Middlesbrough home uh, FA Cup game as well. So he has um, a bright future ahead of him and uh, looks set to be a challenging uh, Toby, Eric Dyer, Javinson Sanchez for a centre-back position next season. He can also play right-back as well, which is a good thing. And I think uh, when he did appear at right-back in a couple of games, I felt he did well. Hopefully they can wrap up uh, his contract and hopefully he can stay at Spurs for a longer period of time, just like Oliver Skip. In other transfer news, um, Valencia midfielder Jeffrey Condogbia is available for transfer. This is because uh, Valencia are having some financial problems because of COVID-19 and um, so most of their squad has been put on for sale. Um, Jeffrey Condogbia is a defensive midfield player whose Spurs have been interested in in the past. Um, if uh, Tottenham do sign him, he, uh, Tottenham will be able to give him a good pay rise plus uh, give him a better platform uh, to perform on. Currently uh, Valencia are not doing so well um, and I think at Tottenham it will be a uh, step up for him. So that's the first piece of news. The second piece of news is concerning Alfie Divine. I did talk about him in a, couple, in, 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 in a video that I uh, made a couple of days ago. He has uh, now apparently signed past a medical and everything and signed for half a million pounds and is now a Tottenham Hotspur player. He will go into the youth team for next season. Also, uh, Kim Min Jae is um, still um, going through talks with Tottenham. Apparently, Daniel Levy has offered Beijing uh, less than £10 million pounds, um, for him. However, they believe the transfer will be resolved this summer and they think a fee in the region of £15 million will get the player. However, there was another report out that did suggest that maybe Beijing want to keep him, although he um, has come in for some flack because uh, he said something not very nice about the Beijing team. So maybe he is looking for a step up and a move out of China. So those are the three um, transfer stories um, from today. Um, in other news, um, Maurizio Pochettino rejected a uh, offer to become Monaco manager. He's still waiting for his next managerial job. 
and check out my video tomorrow for more Tottenham Hotspur news. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. Who do you think we should sign this summer? If you want to see more, make sure you press subscribe. And until tomorrow, come on you Spurs.